Thanks for staying with us now. Personal development is defined as activities that develops a person's capabilities and build human capital, potential, facilitate employability and enhances quality of life and the realization of dreams and aspiration. Now, personal development takes place over the course of an individual's entire lifespan. So as we start this year, what are the skills we need to develop to achieve our set goals for the year? Now let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. So I'm going to bring in our guest like in two minutes, but I just wanted to quickly hear your thoughts and Tammy's thoughts on personal development and what you have set out to do this year for yourself. What I've set out to do is so much, but let me just take Just it. pick one. Let me just take one, mm -hmm. and that is actually to throw my um, courses online. So it's, for me to do this, I have to, I've had to do a lot of reading. I've had to go through online um, lessons. I've mm -hmm. had to um, groom myself on um, techy things based on um, um, screen. There's a, this other app I, I discovered recently on, mm -hmm. um, on um, how to you know make my videos without I'm losing my mind or f forgetting my my Your lines. Thoughts. So it's it's so important for you to get things like this and learn how to groom yourself and build on what you already know mm -hmm. to um, promote your growth. Mm. Especially if you have to teach others, it's very important. So that's that's what you have decided to do this year. Yes, that's okay. the key strength for me. Mm. Is is it, this is a no going back thing. I'd already started, like Uti said, what you've already learned in 2020, you enhance on it in 2021. I'd already learned it in 2020, and now I'm trying to, you know, go all out with it in 2021. Okay. All right, so Timmy, how about you? Okay, so one goal I'd like to achieve in 2021 would be to get much more information on a space of law that I'm very interested in, that's media law. So get much more information on it, not just um, for Nigeria, but globally information about it. Mm. And, you know, just take courses online, perhaps go for short courses when I can. And I hope to, you know, I, I kind of set some targets around this. So, mm. yes, media law is one thing that I'm looking to leverage my... Um, to get more knowledge on and to you know practice much more in that space because something i find very interesting also and also to interact with players in that field so yes to network with players in the field of media and entertainment law mm. i'm wondering how we're going to do this in terms of networking especially with COVID still in very much in the in the room <laughs> so it's going to be virtual i guess well, thankfully, yes. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of opportunities to get many opportunities to network mm. virtually mm. till we can do it physically. I love mm. physical gatherings. You know, it's really nice to help people with handshakes and all of that mm. and get to see the expressions on their faces, faces. <laughs> you know, when you say certain things. But then we have to make do it virtual. And I'm glad we're having this discussion because that's one of the things that I encourage people to do, network virtually. Even if you mm -hmm. can't network physically with someone, we have LinkedIn, we have social media platforms, several of them. And you can always get on them and meet professionals who are interested in your work. Absolutely. Exactly. I'm going to come back to you on that LinkedIn because I know you have something coming up. You are a fantastic um, user of that platform and it mm -hmm. has really, really um, promoted your, your, um, your, brand. Your, your brand and also your 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 work you know so i will come back to you on linkedin because i would like to share with the audience what you are going to be doing also for this year now i want to bring in our guest adenike ajayi is the founder of center for simple radical change and creator of the mm -hmm. simple radical change ma ma matrix help matrix me, help me with english here matrix, matrix. <laughs> <laughs> a framework for creating fast and explosive change in any area of life mm -hmm. um, love and also business over the years, she has worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs and business professionals spread across Europe, UK, America, and Africa using key transformational leadership tools, empowering them to plan their lives and challenge their thoughts process towards overall growth and improvement. Thank you so much for joining us, Adenike. Thank you for having me. 
All right, so you've been listening to uh, listening in on our conversation, Nikke. Um, first of all, yes, I have been. I would love to hear what you think, why you think um, personal development is so key, especially coming up from 2020 with all that we saw in 2020. Maybe like a small review, why you think that this is an important conversation to have. Okay, so for me, I um, first of all, I, I okay. Can you can you guys see me? I can't see I, you I yet, but I can hear you. Oh, okay. Well, so that's fine. I, I wonder why you can't see me. Anyways, um, you you asked why it is important, and this is what I have to say about that. We've all gone through a period where all that we knew or all that we thought was the deal, all that we thought was stable and was regular and was normal had been shattered mm -hmm. and at some point people people felt like okay so what's happening and then everybody at some point had to close the door and do the work inward right they had to stay with themselves and understand themselves and get to meet whoever is behind the skin the clothes and all that so now is a time whereby beyond that beyond all the things people thought at, at, and they've known to be the thing, beyond all of that, we're all getting to a point where we need to sit back and truly get to know who is this person? What makes this person think? What's the strength? What's the strength, your strength, your weaknesses, your qualities, your traits, your abilities, you now have to get to understand who you are, right? Before 2020, we thought the, Things were in a particular order. Things exactly. were laid out in a particular way. Now, the normal is what was normal has now almost become abnormal. Can you imagine? We can't even resume school again. Mm -hmm. And I get it. I understand why. But it's a time where things are not the same. What we based our expectation or what we based our lives on have now been shattered. Now it's time to go inward and get to understand yourself. Like you were saying before I came on, nobody is out there to make life better for you you have to make life better for you how then do you make life better for you if you first of all do not even understand who you are what makes you think what your beliefs are what are your what what are the thoughts you hold in your head mm. that makes you productive what are the thoughts you hold in your head that holds you back from being the best you can be and what's the concept of yourself that you have in your mind mm. these are the things these are the reasons why we need to go back get to understand who we are know us for what we truly are and then from there we are then able to then now step out and be and do all that we need to do so that's why i feel personal development is a thing everybody needs to get into now it's not it's not it's not the regular way anymore hmm. it's not the regular way it's not the get up dry spend many hours in at work and then you know, spend many hours on the, on the road, drive traffic, and then you get to work and you're less productive. Now there is no commuting. You have to be productive yeah. and efficient as a person. That's yeah, the reason why we need to. to okay, you know the funny thing? Now. Hearing you speak, I know now that there are no excuses anymore. No, no. Like before uh, yeah. COVID and all of that, you could give excuse. Oh, I had a very long day in traffic, so that was why I was not. I was not able to give my hundred percent. Now, mm -hmm. where you are from the comfort of your home, mm -hmm. you can just join us via Zoom, and yes. you're good. And mm -hmm. if there's no content inside of you, there's nothing to deliver. And the only mm -hmm. way we can build on oh. and, on whatever it is that you're having, it is mm -hmm. based on what is already deposited inside of you. Mm -hmm. So, if you were going to pick something that was, you would say that is the most key ingredient for personal development and personal growth, what would that be? Okay, so let me look at it this way. I would say the first thing is self-knowledge. Self-knowledge. Now, when I hear people talk about their goals, they come on and then they say, I want to do this, I want to do that. I first, I, 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 I'm, I'm eager, I'm excited, I'm intrigued because I'm wondering, okay, how much of this person does this person know? Okay, now what self-knowledge gives to you is this. It takes you from that place where you are ignorant right ignorance of yourself ignorance of what your values are what makes you tick as a human being mm. ignorance of the concept of yourself that you hold in your mind to a place whereby you can take actions but not just actions 
productive and efficient actions okay i've asked, asked people before that okay so what's what what's your plan for this year what are you planning on working on and people like oh i want this oh i want that and i'm like oh okay so tell me what's your number one value and they they don't know or sometimes some people pretend like they know so they come up with the juicy words mm -hmm. and they come up with that and i ask them what have you if if the last one week, what did you spend your time? What did you spend your money and what did you spend your attention mm. on? And you see that it's something totally different. And you're wondering, okay, so because if the measure, if time is the measure of what is important to you, then how do you then now compare that with with what you've said? Okay, so and now regardless of whatever it is, right? It's, it's not like, oh, okay, so you are doing something a bit um, entertaining, so that makes it wrong. No, it doesn't make it wrong. It just makes that, that thing makes you feel good about yourself. That thing makes you feel sick. That thing is something that is important to you at your core. Most times, and the reason why this is important when we even look at it in terms of goal is that when you do things that are not in... Um, they, they're not in connection with who you truly are. You find that you start with that energy, you start, start with the zeal, but as time goes on, that fire begins to wane and you're not able to carry on. And that's why sometimes people have a goal at the beginning of the year and as time goes on, they, they drop it and they fall back to start old school, okay? Mm -hmm. So self-knowledge is very important. That is number one thing that personal development gives to you. Mm -hmm. Or when you commit yourself to, on this, to personal development, that is the first thing you get, self-knowledge. It makes you understand your values. Now, what are your values? Your values are those things that are truly important to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know that thing that you say, if you can take everything away from me, mm -hmm. you can take this on, you can take this on, you can take this well, on, you can't this take this. Because that is truly what is important. And of okay. course, mm -hmm. we have values in different areas of life. You have values when it comes to relationship, you have values when it comes to family, you have values when it comes to career, mm -hmm. business, you know, and all of that. But when you sit down, when you're picking a goal, how does your value or how does that goal meet this value. value of yours mm. how does that happen Absolutely. that's one of the main thing that people sometimes don't consider you know and that's why you have the disconnect internally sometimes i see different parts of you are in different places mm -hmm. and then you want to get this goal it doesn't work it doesn't absolutely happen. absolutely let me come to tammy tammy are you there yes i can hear you Ua. go ahead Okay, I think she had such an interesting perspective on this, on um, first thing that you need to know yourself. I think that's very, very important. And one thing I would also add, I, I mean, but, but let me come in here first of all. Oh, am I supposed to ask her a question or comment on it first? So I don't go comment too when I'm asking both. You're both supposed to be asking a question first before you comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, let me start with my question. Thank you. I think it was very insightful that she started with, you know, it's important to know yourself. So I'll just ask her that, you know, there are certain times when people say that I'm, I'm like this, this is how I am. Mm. I, this is my personality. And they have sort of like tags for themselves. And it's not, it's not bringing about maximum productivity. Mm -hmm. So how would you, knowing that it's important to first of all, know yourself. Now, when you know yourself and you say, oh, these are, this is how I am and you put a tag to yourself, how can you manage productivity to still do the things that you would naturally not be comfortable doing? How would you advise such people that just, oh, this is how I am, and those things are actually weaknesses? Okay, thank you, Timmy. Um, first of all, this isn't about, okay, so I'm going to bring in one conversation you guys were having before I came on, hypnosis. and that was about hypnosis, <laughs> and then I was so intrigued by your response, I said, mm-mm. I don't even know anything about it. Like, mm -mm, don't go there. That's not my, <laughs> that's not what I know about it. And that kind of made me laugh. I was like, oh, okay, so fine. So now when I talk about getting to know yourself, it's not so much about the personality way we look at it, okay? Um, I have said that there are things that are important to us at our core and they are not the conscious things to us. Right. So mm -hmm. sometimes when you ask people, oh, what, what's 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 your value? And then they say, oh, um, integrity. And they say things like mm -hmm. that. You know, like I said, those words are they're, they're fanciful. They're, they're also words that people tend to repeat over time because they've heard it and heard it and heard it. it but there sweet. are ways and they're proven too. You were saying something. What? I said the word sounds very sweet to say. Mm. 
Integrity. Yes, you know, they sound like, okay, me too, I'm learned. I'm there. Let me say <laughs> Let me say Now, the thing is, there are proven tools to you that we use to get to understand what truly is important to you at your core, not the conscious values you hold in your head. Now, mm. that is that part where I was saying, where, where I brought in the hypnosis to say, the questions or the tools I use to they, are, they bypass your conscious awareness and get to that place to understanding what really makes Tammy Tammy, right? And it's regardless of whether you are in this environment, you're in that environment, this is the, the career you've chosen, this is the place or environment you find yourself. These are the okay. things that are important to you. Okay, and let me just come in a bit here to, okay. to explain what I meant. So oh, let right me then. give an example. I find that examples usually help to communicate well. Definitely. So, for example, so say social media, for example, is yeah. um, some people don't like social media. Like they understand that maybe I need social media for my business, but yes. I don't like social media. I don't like people knowing about me. I don't like talking about myself. Mm. I like being private. I like talking about my work. I don't like typing. I don't like all these things. But mm. then... It looks like it's important, but then I know myself I, I, in that sense of know myself. That, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Not maybe know yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a very short break. When we return, we'll, you would answer that conversation um, Tammy just posed now. Stay with us. We'll be right back.